Hello also in last video we created this mapping wherein we use this static lookup transformation and based on the output of that static lookup transformation either we inserted the value at target or we updated the existing value. Now let's do a quick overview of our data set. So our source data was this dim, dim employees table consider this as staging or maybe OLTP table there are 107 records and this was our target dim employees it also has 107 records. Now dim employees we had created a primary key on this employee ID. Okay, So the granularity of our dimension table is at employee ID level so we cannot have a duplicate employee IDs. All right, So consider that as type 1 dimension. Now uh, what we did is uh, before inserting the records into this dimension table from this employees table we are doing the lookup so this what our static lookup we created right so that static lookup is on dimension table so if I go to lookup object so as you can see it's on dim employees table so for each rows uh, or for each employee ID which is coming from this employees table we are doing the lookup on this dimension table uh, if that record exists uh, if I go back we are returning this dim employee key. So if the record exists, if that employee ID exists, it will return the uh, dim employee key. If that record doesn't exist, the dim employee key would be null. So though based on that null and not null value at router level, so if I go back, so based on that dim EMP key, if it is null, then record doesn't exist. So go ahead and insert that incoming record. If record does exist, employee key does exist that means the record is already present so go ahead and update it so what we'll do just to validate let me and I will just see so the 4200 is the I will change that 4200 to in dimension table so if I select in dimension table it has to be 4200 only okay I will update that to 420 okay and we'll rerun re the mapping so let me run this guy and this 420 which we have updated just now that should change to 4200 because we are pulling the record same record from source and that 4200 ideally should get updated to 4200 so this is just a recap of what we did so far or in the last video and let's go ahead perfect so that got updated so our mapping is working perfectly fine now only one thing uh, the extra thing which was not really required that we did is so we added this joiner transformation ideally we really don't need this joiner tra transformation only when this joiner transformation transformation is needed is if this is a passive and this is active transformation and now this is still a passive transformation reason being uh, when we are returning the port right so we have selected return any row if we would have selected return all rows then it would have become an active transformation and in that case to join active and inactive transformation we had we need to have joiner transformation but right now since it is a passive transformation, so both of them are passive transformation uh, both the inputs of this joiner transformation and it, everything is coming from one source so ideally we really don't need this joiner transformation but for time being that's okay now in this video particularly what we are going to see is where this static lookup transformation fails or uh, and how to overcome that or on in which situation we had to use dynamic lookup transformation and uh, we should not use the static lookup transformation so we create that scenario here so what we'll do is so let's consider so first of all our dimension table doesn't hold duplicate employee IDs okay but because there is a primary key defined on this employee ID column in on this dimension table however in source there is no such primary key so source can have duplicate records on employee ID so we'll create that so what I will do I will add these two records of Amit uh, having employee ID as 1001 or make uh, 1000 let's assume 1001 and only difference between these two records is one has first record has salary as 5000 and another record has salary as 4800 so let me insert these records so now I have duplicate records in my 
source okay uh, let me order it by correct i have these duplicate records now created uh, in my source when it tries to insert the records now with existing mapping what happens is when you create the static lookup it creates the two types of cache index cache and data cache so index cache is based on the lookup condition and data cache is based on the return value or what are return ports we will be sending to next next transformation from lookup transformation now why it called as static is once uh, it creates the cache right it doesn't update that cache now in this case if we run this mapping uh we are doing the lookup on this dimension table and which has 107 records right now this record set in dimension currently doesn't have records belongs to amit right employee id 1001 so it will go ahead and create the data cache and lookup cache okay uh index cache i'm sorry data uh, index cache and data cache now when first record will come right this first record come it will try to search that record into a uh, uh, index cache or data cache it doesn't it won't find that record obviously so it will go ahead and insert that record or it will mark that record as in for insertion second record since the lookup cache did not get update it will again consider that record doesn't present in the target table and even the second record will it will try to insert even though that actually that record already got inserted and it will fail so we'll see that so what I will do let me run that mapping again the first record will definitely get inserted however when it tries to insert the second record this would fail and that's the draw limitation of static lookup because it if there are duplicate records uh, coming from source static lookup can't handle that so whenever you have a scenario wherein you are getting the duplicate records from source you cannot go for dynamic lookup or static lookup transformation because it doesn't update the cache I mean index cache and data cache now you see there is a warning def uh, warning uh, flag so if I go back and check my dimension table for 1001 I will see only one record right and that is a first record five thousand dollar and let's now look at let me download this guy okay if I go at very end if I scroll see violation of primary key constraint error cannot insert all right because uh, see it also tells like which record it could not insert okay now it failed to insert this 4800 okay and that's the reason why you don't see that so what we'll do we'll change that uh, let me go back and we'll change this lookup now to overcome that we have to use dynamic lookup transformation how that would help is dynamic lookup transformation will dynamically update the cache so whatever index cache and data cache which will get created at the time of execution that cache value will get updated so basically what will happen is when this first record will come it won't find that record in the index cache and data cache so it will mark that record as in for insertion however when next record comes in the cache is already updated all right so it will treat this record as a repetitive record or uh, existing record and it won't mark second record for insertion it, it will mark rather the second record for updation okay we'll see that and uh, mapping would not mapping should not fail so let's let me go back i mean in this case also it did not fail but it gave the warning so same thing should happen i mean we should not see even the warning so let me quickly change this lookup from static to dynamic and it's very easy so if I scroll down I just have to click on this checkbox okay dynamic lookup cache and there is another thing I have to use is insert else update so what does this means is if row if a particular record doesn't exist in the cache then go ahead and insert it however if that record already exists then you mark that repetitive record or second record as update all right so this is the change another thing is 
let me uh, go to the lookup objects I will select these dim employee again so earlier we uh, in a return port we all only pass two values however in this case we'll pass all the values so what I meant is so I will I don't want to pass this guy and this guy I will just delete these three ports when we select the dynamic lookup transformation right it creates another port default port called new lookup row now what this new look new lookup row indicates is as I said uh, it in between the cache itself the in integration service marks that row in the cache as insert or update or no change now that particular flag whether it to mark the row as insert update or no change that flag is nothing but new lookup row okay so new lookup row when we connect this port to the next transformation this port would have value as 0 either 0 1 or 2 1 means insertion 2 means updation and 0 means no change all right now I will pass all these values there is another thing which will have to validate is field mapping so as you can see here other than employee ID which is a lookup condition all right this is a lookup condition other than this we also have to validate other values in that table if those values got changed if there is a change in those values then we'll mark that row for updation if there is no change in the values for existing employee id then then that particular row will get marked as no change that is zero okay in the cache itself so dynamically as we as 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 we are inserting the rows into a target table even the lookup cache will get updated so that's the reason they call it as a dynamic lookup i will save this guy and as i mentioned earlier we really don't need that uh, joiner transformation so i will remove those things i will remove this joiner transformation i will remove this update uh, uh, expression as well select expression and i will directly connect this to a router okay so now our mapping is much simpler and now if I go back to my router output groups I don't have that dimension key anymore because I am not returning that from dynamic lookup transformation rather we have to decide for insertion or updation based on this value okay so if new lookup pro value if it is 1 then you mark that for insertion if it equal to 1 then true and false let me just validate this guy perfect if it is 2 then record already there is a change in existing record and you mark that for updation and the last thing which we have to do is since we removed in between transformations uh, I just have to see what are the incoming ports which we have here the incoming ports are all LKP LKP right let me see here so incoming port for this is LKP LKP perfect now I will go back to my target I will remap those fields unmap unmap map, map, unmap unmap and uh, employee ID oops first name last name email phone perfect same thing I will do and employee ID first name last name email 
salary perfect save it and let me uh, clear the what I will do I will delete these records from source and target okay and let me reinsert before that let me just check 107 records 107 records and I will create these duplicates now so now I will have duplicate records in source okay so 109 so when I will trigger the mapping it should insert 108 records to target okay right now there are 107 records perfect so let me run this let's see what happens I hope I have done everything correctly issue jobs perfect two rows processed and let me have a look 4800 okay so one record got inserted and same record got updated that's the reason why it says two rows process processed all right so this is how we have to use dynamic lookup transformation so static lookup is fine however if there are duplicates uh, in the source then that's where the static lookup lookup fails because it can't update the uh, index cache and data cache whereas if we use dynamic lookup it dynamically observes the index cache and data cache by which uh, we can determine whether rows already exist even if there are duplicates coming from source we can still handle that okay so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video